How to troubleshoot a touchscreen that responds inaccurately. If your touchscreen responds to being touched, but the cursor does not move as you expect it to, or the cursor is more than half an inch away from the point of contact, your touchscreen might need to be cleaned, configured, or reset. The touchscreen function in Windows 10 is different from previous versions. Forefinger and edge swiping were removed, and new functions were added. Swipe left or right to switch applications, and swipe up or down to switch between the application and task views. First, clean the screen. Touch screens might not respond due to smudges and dirt buildup. To avoid this issue, touch the screen only with clean hands or a stylus. To clean the screen, you will need a clean, soft cloth and a cup of water. Turn off the computer. Moisten a soft, clean cloth with water. Squeeze the cloth to remove excess water. Gently clean the entire screen. Wait for the screen to dry. Turn on the power. Try using the touch screen again. If cleaning the screen did not resolve the issue, continue to the next step. Next, configure the touch display. You may need to configure the touch display to identify your screen as a touch screen. In Windows, search for and open Calibrate the screen for pen and touch input. On the Display tab, select Setup. Follow the instructions on screen. Tap the screen to see if it responds. If it does not, continue to the next step. Use the HP PC Hardware Diagnostics UEFI test to detect problems with the touchscreen hardware. Connect the AC adapter to the computer and plug it into a power source. Press the power button for at least 5 seconds to turn off the computer. Turn on the computer and immediately press the ESC or Escape key repeatedly about once every second. When the startup menu appears, press the F2 key. When the HP PC Hardware Diagnostic screen displays, select Component Tests. Select Touchscreen. There are two interactive touchscreen hardware tests. Select Touch Pointer Test first. Read the on-screen instructions and then select Run Once. Touch each of the blocks on the screen to erase them. The test ends after you erase all the blocks or after three minutes have passed, then the results display. Select Main Menu to return to the main screen. Select Component Tests and then select Touch Screen. Select Drag and Drop Test. Read the on-screen instructions and then select Run Once. Drag each orange rectangle to the box indicated by the arrows using a finger or a stylus. The test ends after you reposition all the blocks or after three minutes, then the results display. If the computer passes the diagnostics tests, but the touchscreen still does not respond during regular use, continue to the next step. If one or both tests fail, a 24-digit code or failure ID displays. Contact HP and provide this code. The failure ID is also available in the test logs on the main menu. If the previous steps do not work, perform a hard reset or a full shutdown and restart. To do a hard reset on a notebook computer, turn off the computer, disconnect all external devices, and then disconnect the AC adapter. Remove the computer from any port replicator or docking station. If your computer has a removable battery, remove the battery from the battery compartment. Press and hold the power button for 15 seconds to drain any residual electrical charge. If your notebook computer has a removable battery, insert the battery into the battery compartment. Plug the AC adapter back into the notebook and into a power source. Do not connect any peripheral devices. Turn on the computer. If a startup menu opens, use the arrow keys to select Start Windows Normally and then press Enter. Wait for the computer to start and then tap the screen to see if it responds. If it does not, continue to the next step. To restart an all-in-one computer with Windows 10, select the Windows icon and then select the power icon, select Restart. Wait while the computer turns off and then restarts. Tap the screen to see if it responds. If it does not, continue to the next step. 
If the steps above did not work, you might need to service your computer. Go to hp.com forward slash go forward slash contact HP.